tuber, teacher tuber, teacher tuber. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So this week I've been watching a ton of YouTube. So I figured I'd share my top five favorite teacher tubers with you. So I didn't discover teacher tubers until my first year of teaching, which was like two or three years ago. So little late in the game. And of course I started with one fab teacher, a pocket full of primary, the staple pieces. But the five I'm gonna tell you today are ones that I just keep going back to. In no special order, number one, Early Adventures. She was one I watched religiously last year. She was still teaching third grade. She just recently moved to sixth grade. And from the first video I watched of hers, it was like subscribe, binge watch. And I think it's just, she's goofy and totally herself. And it just makes her feel so relatable. And because her videos were so personal and she was so herself, it was just, fun to watch and she always brought something new for me to learn and try so I just really appreciated that and she was actually the youtuber I was watching whenever I had like the light bulb of like hey I want to give this a shot and I'm not really sure why I felt like yeah I should start one like it was like okay I know I'm never going to reach that but it just seems so fun like why not and I put very little thought into it and then now here I am but, but yeah so early adventures hands down makes the top five Number two is Hello Third Grade. So she's a newer channel, but like not in size because she has like tons of followers already. She was already big on Instagram and then decided just to share more with us on YouTube. And I just love watching her videos. So she is huge on flexible seating. And early adventures, she was just kind of starting to get into the flexible seating. So it was really cool to compare someone who's like full blown flexible seating and then someone who's implementing it pretty hardcore and seeing the process of getting there. So that's another reason why I like both of those channels. But hello third grade, with every video I feel like I learned at least three new things. And now since I'm finally teaching third grade, I am so pumped to give those lessons a shot. And I think that's a big reason to why I check out her channel so much, is because I'm so excited to see the next thing she's implementing and wanting to give it a shot. And she's so sweet. Like I thought because she's like up there, if I send her a message asking her a question or just like replying to a message on her Instagram story that she probably has tons of messages. She's not gonna reply back to me, but she totally did and she's the biggest sweetheart. So like to me, that is one of the biggest things. To reply back to people who are reaching out to you, fellow teachers, and that's what really builds the community. Moving on, number three is Darren from EdTech Darren or Mr. Ed. So I love Darren's channel for multiple reasons. First off, his videos are just so creative like the way that he has his intro and the way that things always transition the music he has and everything is just so visually appealing and stimulating that i feel like i'm watching like a mini movie i don't know but something about it i'm always just like i love watching it just even visually on the most simple level Not only that his videos are really cool and he covers a lot of ground he has teacher videos he has music videos not music videos but videos that are focused on music and he is just constantly collaborating with other teachers from doing collaboration videos with his friends that are big teacher tubers to small teacher tuber channel reviews and i think that is so cool so the first video i saw of his was about a year or two ago and it was about regatta something about a big rain activity where his students made little boats and they had like a and the science standards that it covered and how excited the kids were and it was just like genius so then i binge watched a couple of his videos after that i really got into his channel review videos and this is what actually planted the seed in my head of like how cool would it be to start a teacher tuber channel and one day he reviews my channel like how stinking cool but it planted the seed in there so then by the time i saw early adventures and was binge watching her videos it was like light bulb why not go for it don't think just do what's the worst that can happen <laughs> and here i am and he actually ended up reviewing my channel. It didn't take a bajillion years and a million subscribers later. And he just broke it down and gave such great advice. And it was just like, thank you for taking the time to go out of your way and recognize me as a person, me as a channel, ask me questions about me, check in on me. He'll randomly send me a video like, how you doing, Tay? And I'm just like, you're so sweet, you know? But yeah, so Darren's awesome. So next one, number four, too cool for middle school. So the first video I ever saw of hers, she told a story about how her first year teaching, her students didn't necessarily have that respect and how it could be dangerous in a situation as such as a lockdown. She talks about gaining respect from your students and all of that. And it was just like, yes, girl, 
thank you. I am right there with you. It just felt like such a weight lifted off of my shoulders that there's another teacher out there who feels that way and said it out loud. Because that is one thing with teacher tuber channels, like we always want everything to be so positive because well, one, just our jobs in general. Like we don't want negative stuff. We don't want to say negative stuff. We're not negative people, you know? But to have someone be real about a topic like that, and it's not a topic that's covered very often, was just like, yes, thank you. But from that video, I'm like, subscribe. I wanna hear more of what you have to say. And her channel, she has mastered the teacher tuber, but real life, this is just me kind of channel. And I think that that is awesome because her channel is just an all-in-one channel. I feel like I get the teacher tube videos where I'm learning about planning and different lessons I can implement and student interactions, but then also cool unboxing and makeup stuff, clothes stuff. It's like I have just a teacher friend that I'm FaceTiming with. Like that's what it feels like. And I just love that she has such a great attitude and she is just always so real. Where I feel like you are totally getting in the life of a teacher from school life to personal life and she just rocks it. So kind of similar to Too Cool for Middle School, where I said she feels like a teacher friend and not just a teacher channel where I'm just learning informational things. There's a couple other channels that are really like that. Which brings me to, last but not least, number five, Breedaful Teaching. Breedaful Teaching. So Bring is just another one of those teacher tubers where I feel like we're homies, you know? And I think it's because she does share awesome lessons and ideas and she's a brand new teacher too. So I feel like we're on the same page. We have a similar path. So she used to teach third grade. She just moved to fifth. So I feel like I can totally get a lot from watching her lessons. But then also I feel like we're just hanging out when she's doing get ready with me videos or like treat yourself kind of stuff, makeup things. And it's such a relief because it's like, being in the teacher world without being in the teacher world. And it's just one of those teacher friend things. And again, just her personality to where it's like, even if her video is just on in the background, like she just has a really cool vibe about her. And I just really appreciate that she's real. She's transparent with things. And she's like me where you can't hide your facial expressions. Like if you feel a way, it's all over your face. But I love that. I love that she's real and transparent. And I feel like that's definitely something that I value and want to do in my channel. So Breedaful Teaching is definitely my number five. Bonus one, because I have to throw it in there. My girl from Extra Special Education. I check in with her channel because one, she's like an RSP teacher special ed. So she has a lot of awesome, super informative stuff on like IEPs and how to help my students that are having challenges. It just brings a totally new perspective because most of the teacher tubers out there are general education teachers. But we need this information too because even though we're general ed, we deal with so much of this. We need to know how to identify and help our children in our class that might need those resources. So I am constantly looking at her channel to see like, what, what can I learn? Help me. <laughs> but she is totally a teacher friend. So we started this teacher tuber thing at the same time. And, and I think she commented on one of my videos or messaged me and we just, hit it off because it was like, oh, you're starting this too. I have no idea what I'm doing. Neither do I. Let's be friends. <laughs> she brings so much to the table. There's so much that we can learn from her channel. I'm so excited to see more of the stuff that she comes up with. So yeah, so homegirl, I know I said five, but she's in there too. So tying this all up, I think that these channels are staple piece teacher tuber channels because they're just themselves. They're constantly sharing information to help other teachers. And we all have the common goal of we love what we do. And if you're a teacher, we wanna help you and help you love your job too. It is such an awesome community. And I think we all know that and we're all trying to do whatever we can to keep it that way and continue to grow it. And there is just such value to that because on social media, like YouTube and Instagram, things can be so superficial. Things can be so negative. And in this teacher world, I don't know. I don't see any of that. And to me, that is so powerful. So pretty much, I really look up to these channels and I know these channels might not be a big surprise to you, but they're undeniable. And yes, there's tons of other good channels out there. It was really hard just to pick five. So for some reason, if you found this video and have not heard of theirs for some weird reason, definitely go check them out. I'll put the link for their channels down below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next week. Bye.